What's up, ballers? We are back with some more NBA Live Mobile. So we finally got packs in the store that I can basically open an unlimited amount of. I have missed these because it gives me time to like actually talk about things that I've been thinking about. And we really haven't had one of these videos in a while. So we're about to go ahead and open up a bunch of these NBA Awards Pro Packs. Hopefully we can get some good stuff. And game has been really, really unstable recently. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to get through a few of these and just talk about what's going on in the game, what's going on on the NBA, what is the future of Bobby Buckets and whatnot. So I'm actually going to go ahead and buy both of these 100,000 coin packs. That way I don't have to keep scrolling so far to the right every time that I'm opening a pack. So here we go with our NBA awards winner packs. Let's see if we can get anything good out of here. Hopefully at least one elite. I know we've got, all right, lots of collectibles, more collectibles, and more collectibles. So nothing good out of that one. We'll go ahead and open this other one. Bundle is not worth it at all since I'm not a huge fan of these packs. And the topper is 96 overall, which normally would be good, but 96 overalls are currently worth like less than a million coins. So not really worth it for the bundle at this point also Trying not to open bundles anymore. I'm trying to keep away from that as much as possible. But like I said, the game has been doing really well recently. I'm a huge fan of this NBA awards program. Definitely more than the playoffs and finals programs. Mainly because you can actually like grind for the players. You don't just have to resort to either buying coins or buying cash. Like You can actually work for them. Which I've really appreciated. I'm hoping EA does more programs like that. Now, at the same time, they have had programs where you had to spend a lot of money. So, especially like the... I'm actually... Part of me regrets buying that bundle for the NBA Awards Legends. Just because literally two days later, the... Uh, oh, there we go. We get an Anthony Davis. Two days later, we get... What is it? Like a shooting guard, Westbrook, in the exact same position that... Del Curry is in right now, and I could get him for like a million coins. So I kind of wish I would have sold my Del Curry, but I'm not going to complain. That video did well, and part of the reason why I did it is because I knew you guys would want to see it. So I don't mind that. We're probably aiming for about 2 million coins in NBA Awards Pro Packs. That being said, I'm... Honestly, I have no idea. Or wait, no. I think I started at like 3.6, so probably going down to like 1.6... And then we'll call it quits. Doesn't really matter what I pull. Really just doing this for the sake of showing you guys what is in these packs. So like I said, I uh, have been liking the content in the game a lot recently. A lot more than in the playoffs and the finals. So looking good right now. I'm really looking forward to the school year for a lot of reasons. For one thing, we've got NBA Live 18 coming out. we got 2K18 coming out. we got the NBA Live Mobile Reset happening at some point. If you've got questions about that, you can go on my channel. There's a video about it somewhere. I'm not going to talk about it in this one. But you guys can go check that out. So I'm excited for that because that always gives a lot of opportunities for new videos, coin making methods, whatever. And I'm excited to get into console gaming because while I love NBA Live Mobile, it does get boring at times. Obviously, the gameplay is nowhere near the level of a console NBA game. So I'm looking forward to being able to compare NBA 2K and NBA Live and see which is the better game, which is more entertaining, which people are more drawn to. And I think EA has done a really, really good job of pushing the game. So hopefully it meets everyone's expectations. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. We'll definitely have a lot more console gaming on the channel. And we're still going to have NBA Live Mobile because you guys, my NBA Live Mobile fans, are the reason that I'm still doing YouTube. So... Oh, there we go. We get a 91 Westbrook right there. Probably not worth that much at this point since he's a little bit old news. But we pull a 91 overall, so I will take it. Um, it used to be if I would pull like a 91 overall in a bundle, I would lose my mind. But they're so common now with this program. Like the prices of all good players have just completely dropped out. Golds are selling for like 1800 a piece. It's just like... <laughs> The market is just in shambles. We honestly need a reset because the game is just like, the prices are so jacked up. There's so many good 96s and 97s that you can get for next to nothing. Um, so I am looking forward to the reset. I definitely think that will give us a lot of options. 
four new things that we can do in the game. So also, if you guys are in need of some coins for those new players, I know not everybody can actually afford those 96 overalls that are a million coins, coins a piece or whatever they are right now. Make sure you check out my sponsor, MMOGO. Their link is down in the description. So they've got cheap NBA Live mobile coins. Last time I checked, their prices were down under $2 per million, which is like ridiculously cheap. It might have gone up a little bit because there's probably increased demand because of this program. But it's still like every time I check it in comparison to the competition, always the cheapest. So make sure you guys check them out. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to the school year. I'm also going to be living in a different place. So living with my buddies, Wu and Brett, that is going to be a whole lot of fun and throw ragers every night. Just kidding. We don't throw ragers. We just sit around and watch basketball and play 2k <laughs> like real college students. Um, Oh, yeah. I'm just looking forward to the school year, I, and I'm enjoying the summer, too, but lots to look forward to in the coming year. So let me know what you guys are looking forward to. I'd love to hear what you guys are planning on doing. Whether you guys are planning on playing 2K or NBA Live, it should be interesting to see kind of how that plays out because I know that EA has been pushing NBA Live a lot. They've been like inviting all these YouTubers to parties. No, I'm not salty about that. I left EA for a reason. I am perfectly fine. Wouldn't have been able to go to it anyways because I've been out of the country for a while. But uh, yeah, definitely going to be interesting to see how that all works out. And hopefully, since 2K is finally getting some real competition, that's going to make them prove their improve their game all the more. So hopefully the result is that we just get two really good basketball games and I'm probably just going to end up going to the one that has the better my team slash live ultimate team. So for NBA Live, it was live ultimate team. If they have like a really good program, then I'll probably end up playing that because those are the two game modes that are the most similar to NBA Live Mobile. And I know that's the content that you guys like. So I'm looking forward to that. We are probably, I think we're like a million coins into this pack opening. Only pulled one NBA Awards Elite, which is a little bit disappointing. But I'll also be able to toss some of these guys into sets. We'll probably have like a giant variety pack opening sometime after I do this video. So if you got any requests for the packs, uh, I can probably do some. Probably not going to do many of the 96 pluses unless it's just from whatever I get out of the elite player packs. Mainly because they're so cheap right now. I know most other people already have videos for it up. So... You can Google it, YouTube it, whatever you want, but those videos are out there somewhere. But if you guys have any requests for gameplay of any of the new cards, I've been trying to get that out. So I already got out Brogdon and 98 Draymond Green. They were both in the same lineup. So we did some gameplay for them, but the video didn't really get that many comments or likes. So you guys might actually just be getting tired of watching gameplay videos. It was interesting because I actually got way more of a response on my 94 Giannis video than I did on 98. Oh, there we go. Another elite. We got Steph Curry right there. Okay, that's some nice stats. I actually need to do a video for him because I promised some of you guys that I would do a video of 93 Steph Curry versus 92 Kyle Korver because they're both lights out shooters in the shooting lineup. So I had initially made that video rendered it and uploaded it and then realized that for some reason whenever it rendered it did it without any audio and then i had already deleted the files that i used to render it so now i've got to go all the way back and record that all over again so if you're watching this video and you're waiting on that one i am sorry that it's taking so long there's just so much new content in the game it is so hard for me to keep up so i am doing my best Hopefully you guys are still liking the content, and if you are, make sure you drop a like down below as always. I haven't done a big pack opening, or at least a long pack opening video like this in a while, so if you guys are enjoying, make sure to drop a like, and we're going to see if we can hit 500 likes on this video. We are just going to keep on smashing through these packs. We got about 600k left, I think. Oh my goodness, this just reminds me of my live streaming uh, during the school year, I will probably, whenever I get back in the U.S., be doing live streams again. But until that time, I won't have Wi-Fi that's actually good enough for me to, to be able to do that. So 
No live streams for now, but hopefully you guys are still enjoying the content. Keep on running through these packs. I, I will be interested to see what programs they have coming after this because um, we've had like just a whirlwind of new players with the NBA Finals and with the NBA Awards. Just so many new 96 plus cards. It's been kind of crazy. So I'm guessing they'll probably have like an off-season movers program. That's what they had last uh, NBA off-season. So I'm predicting that we're going to have that. I honestly don't know what else they can do. I've actually heard that they're not allowed to do a draft program just because of the way the NBA Players Association works. So unfortunately, we might actually have to wait until the reset for that to happen. So I'll be interested to see what happens. I'm sure they'll make up something because... While they are putting out good content, they're also definitely uh, juicing the most money out of it that they can. So they're not going to be trying to stop making money. And I think most of the money is probably going towards uh, developing and promoting NBA Live 18. But that's a game that I'll be playing. So I can't complain about it. I've only bought like two bundles in the past, I don't know, the past three or four months or something like that. So... While it is a little bit frustrating, I understand they're a company that's got to make money. So they keep on doing what they got to do, and I will keep on doing what I got to do, putting out content, regardless of whether or not I got to spend money on it. So if you guys have any video requests, as always, you can drop those down below in the comments. I usually, <laughs> this is the first time in a long time that I've actually had a video long enough that I could like, oh, there we go. We got a Draymond Green right there. A 94, not bad. Probably a budget beast right now considering how cheap all of these NBA playoffs cards or NBA awards cards are getting. Uh, but like I said, if you got any video requests, drop them down below. Right now, I don't have any lack of video content, but I'm sure once this NBA awards program ends, there's going to be a big drought of content. So a lot of that's going to be on me, but I also want to be putting out content that you guys want to see. So I still got a couple series, a couple videos I actually made a while ago that I haven't posted just because there's been so much going on with the NBA Finals, with the NBA Awards and whatnot. So I'll probably be posting those videos in a little bit. And you'll probably be able to tell because they'll look a little bit different, at least gameplay wise. But they're still videos that have been requested a lot. I just haven't had a day that I felt like I needed to publish them because there's just been so much content in the game and I want to kind of spread them out because good video ideas are hard to think of so uh, uh, hopefully I've been doing a good job so far and we are getting close to the end of our pack opening uh, I think we've pulled like four three or four playoff or NBA awards elite so not a terrible pack opening more than likely we won't make our coins back especially considering how insanely low the price of gold players are right now. But hopefully we'll make some back, opening up some elite player packs from all these golds that we've gotten. So, as always, make sure to drop that like and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. I'm sure there are some people out there watching for the first time. Or, I know that I do this with some YouTubers. I actually don't know why I do it, and I don't know why other people do it as well. But I just wait for their videos to pop up on my home feed rather than actually subscribing to them. So if you guys could hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. I try not to spam your feed with useless videos. I try to only do videos that either are new content or content that I think people will enjoy. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. We're going to go down till we hit the 700Ks and then we're going to call it quits. Not, not really juice packs. They could be worse as well. So we pulled a couple, what was it, 77 overall? Not 70. Okay, I saw 1.777, I think, in my uh, coin counter and <laughs> said 77. We got a bunch of 91 pluses. So this is going to be our last pack. We will no look at just for old time's sake. Hopefully we don't lag out on the very last one. Three, two, one. Oh. Dead. All right, nothing good in there. So that is going to be about it for this episode. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that comment, like, and subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.